Okay, welcome Maria. A long game today, you're in the joint lead. Tell us something about the game. Uh, I think I got an advantage in the opening and soon we exchanged the queens. Uh, so the end game was very comfortable for me. Um, I was a bit surprised when my opponent played king d7 because it meant that she had to sacrifice a pawn. Uh, so at that moment I was expecting king f6 instead of king d7. But speaking about the rook and the game, I was a pawn up, so um, that was the game for two results. Uh, but my opponent fought very well, she was trying to find uh, any chances, uh, so it was not so easy to convert uh, this pawn, but finally I managed to do this. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Okay, Maria, let's have a look at a couple of positions from your game today. We'll start with the opening. Yeah, I didn't expect BC from my opponent, so yes. uh, DC, I think, is the main line. Um, but here, okay, she, did play, she played D6, and after D4, I got a comfortable play, but still, I prefer to play wire it uh, here, even if not D6. Uh, yes. Yeah, because. Okay, and after. Say so this position here, she has to give up the bishop for. Yeah, but it is clearly better here, yes. not only because of the advantage of bishop against knight, but also because of the c6 pawn. Yeah. It is very weak. Yeah. Okay, should we move forward to this position? Yeah, and here I didn't expect king d7 because, okay, she loses the pawn, but What's it your was plan playable after? Yeah. to play. Okay, in F6, but okay, I can just follow like rook a c1, let's say there, mm -hmm. and rook e d1. So if knight d4, I always have king f2, and it is very convenient. Uh, yeah, it's still very nice for you. Provide, isn't it? yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, but so. king d7, rook e d1, I don't know, maybe she wanted to play king c8. Yes. Initially, but then uh, miscalculated something like rook a c1 mm -hmm. and oh no 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 not rook a c1 excuse me because rook a c1 allows knight d4 so bishop b2 this more probably my opponent missed yes and now with knight g5 let's say i play king g2 um, and if f6 then rook d6 mm -hmm. yeah yeah and if rook e8 i have h4 yeah you can have lots of fun in that position not much fun for uh, Irina. Okay. Yes. So back at knight d4. But at the end game she played very well, I think. Okay, should we jump to the time control or something like this? Or? Uh, all right, yes. Yeah, so rook f4, oh, actually g5, oh, yeah, yeah. That was the most I missed here. Rook e7 ah. I played and <laughs> it was g5. g5, yes. <laughs> yes, it's unpleasant to miss, to miss such kind of moves. Yes, yeah. Yes. Because, well, I didn't want to take uh, at, on h7 and to exchange many pawns. Yes, that's more difficult, isn't it? Were you short of time there? Uh, I wasn't short of time, but still I missed g5. Yeah. Okay, so rook e4, uh, rook e4. capture, four. capture. If not the g, if like rook h6, then I have rook e2. Here, yeah, so yeah. instead she plays rook e6, so rook king d3. In this three, and here I thought that most probably I would win this game. Yes. Because a very comfortable play, and my king is going to the king side. I don't know where exactly she made a mistake, but still, it's very unpleasant to play with. Yeah. Uh, Blacky yeah, and rook h6. I think my opponent wanted me to play rook h4. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, but. Uh, this is not a win? But as I calculated, it was a draw, like uh, king oh, okay. b5, king c3, and a4. You can't win. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so a pawn up, but no win, it looks like. Yeah, too risky. Yes, rook d6, king. that was very logical, and rook d1. Um, yes. I like rook a4, because it doesn't allow any counter play. Mm -hmm. Yes, king b5, yeah. and then you go off to... It was a very nice trick by her, like rook d1, and she wanted to play... Uh, so that was the position she wanted to play rook d4, let's say. Ah, oh, you just carry on with your king. Yes, and then rook d4. 
Ah. That's unpleasant. Yeah, therefore I had so to play a with trip. F4. Yeah. Yes. I would have fallen for that trick. Okay, mm -hmm. rook f4. Yeah. D5. So more tricks like rook d3, g4, rook d4 she wanted, like in h7, yeah. Okay, I played king h7, but if g4, then rook d4 once again. Oh, same And trick. I didn't want to bring my king back like in g5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's full of tricks. Yes, and in the very end... Uh, five yeah I think that was all good yeah so so you played the check king d5 six check I think again. it's very logical because I don't see the alternatives here mm, rook b6 yeah oh, and here I sure yes and here I have to be very careful because uh, if let's say black wins these two pawns and uh, sacrifice the rook for this pawn then it might be a draw and so here i think that a rook a8 uh, Sorry, rook 9 59 59 yeah 59 rook a8 oh yeah yeah um, well i believe in my calculation <laughs> yes but still it's very unpleasant because you may miss some move and it's a draw Yes, of course. Yeah, let's just play through those moves. Yes, a5. I think I'm just in time to win this. This one's on the corner of the edge okay, of the screen. Five. Okay, you can be two was all of us another option, but then a7. And if uh, rook a5, then king g8, uh, and I have uh, h8 queen with the check, <laughs> with the important check. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just play through those moves. Okay, king g7, rook g5. King h6. King h6, simple move. It's for black already. And of course, it's, yeah. it's all over now. Okay, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you.